This is the Trilogy uh, alarm lock system that we're going to put on this narrow style here. Uh, we're going to install the knob version and we're going to install it on this door right here. We'll go through a step-by-step -step process on how we, how we transform this right onto here and have a uh, keyless entry system. Alright, so what we've got here is our uh, guide. We line it up, measure, make sure that we're on the center. On the inside, this is going to give you your drill hole guides right here, 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 and here. You're going to want to make sure that you have clearance right here. This is going to be a little tight, but it should work. So you paste this on there. It's just a sticky material. If you misset it, you can just go ahead and pull it right off, set it right back where you need it. There's a really nice way to, to do this, and then we'll just drill it with it right on there. Gonna take the adapter, atom drive adapter, and adapt that on there. Put that like that. Put our Phillips head screw, just like so. I'm gonna back this screw off. Can allow us to get access to the battery case. The battery case is then going to be pulled by this ribbon. It will twist out. The battery pack needs to be hooked up just like so. And then put back together. Make sure not to pinch any wires. Slide the case back on. reinstall the screw and you're ready to go. Alright, once the lock's put back together, battery cover's installed solid, the knob is installed, comes with this screw here, kind of the kit comes with a driver for that to put that on. You can see it right now, it just spins, it does not move the back piece here. Uh, once you put in the code, you can hear it, now it spins. It's going to allow five seconds, then it'll move, now it stopped. Okay, that's what's going to grant you access into this. Alright, so we're going to take our screws and our hidden plate here. And we'll just punch these through right here and here. Uh, the lock is already mounted on this side. We we'll just line it up so it's straight. Line that uh, atom drive converter into there on this side. Go straight in, pop in your bolts, and you're just about done. Alright, so we're going to take our screws on our hidden plate here. And we'll just punch these through right here and here. Uh, the lock is already mounted on this side. We we'll just line it up so it's straight. Line that uh, atom drive converter into there on this side. Go straight in, pop in your bolts, and you're just about done. Alright, once you get the lock installed, put the cover plates on. It covers up all the screws, makes it look nice and pretty. Um, you'll see that it is not engaging, turning anything, you put in the code. See that it allows you to lock, allows you to unlock, and then it goes out. Make sure that everything's lined up in the door. Right now, the door is locked. As soon as it does that, you can open it. Then you put in the code. And just like that. That's how you install a narrow trim style alarm lock. All right, these are the instructions for changing the programming code on the alarm lock. Uh, the factory code is 12345, so we're going to go A1A, and we're going to go 2345. Three, two, 
one. A five, four, three, two, four. Let's see if that took. Then we'll do five, four, three, two, one. And now we've gained access. So that means that it goes. So that's how you change the master programming code on your alarm lock trilogy uh, narrow style. Uh, it's in your instruction booklet right here. Um, A1A, then your factory code, A1A, master code A, confirm new master code.